Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves in Montgomery County, Maryland, with the frauditor slash sovereign citizen slash conspiracy theorist and all around moron, NOJ News 1. One of my more favorite frauditors, considering everything he says is just sheer entertainment and insanity. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. All right, it's October the 11th, 2023, and we're at the terrorist compound for a jury trial for a case we had in May the 22nd, 2023. We went to trial, and the judge found me guilty. And now we're right back up here again for a jury trial in the hive of the terrorists. Unbelievable, double jeopardy. Yeah, can you prove that, dude? Because all we're hearing from you is a lot of complaints in this video. And uh, well, you've been arrested numerous times, so are you sure it's just not one of your other arrests coming up uh, for trial? I mean, dude, like I said in the opening, you are a sovereign citizen who has been arrested several times. And, uh, well, yeah, and you've also been known to be quite the conspiracy theorist and a liar at times. But let's carry on, shall we? These clowns write their own laws in this corporation they call Montgomery County. Well, first of all, it's not a corporation, numb nuts. I mean, you keep on saying that, but uh, I guess you just don't know the difference between a government and a corporation. Speaking of which, uh, you do know that uh, governments do tend to write laws, right? I mean, not just the federal government can write laws. The uh, state, every municipality below the state can write laws for their own areas, for their own jurisdiction, dummy. I mean, haven't you been able to figure that out yet? Of course not. You're too busy consuming enormous amounts of lead paint and Kool-Aid to be able to comprehend any of that. We have already been to trial. My attorney filed an appeal and now they're trying to cover their asses by having a jury trial inside of this terrorist compound right here. Look at this officer right here. Enemy of the people is sitting outside the county executive office milking the clock. He's out here guarding guarding the, the county executive office, milking the clock, y'all. This is car 2121010. And we're here inside of 50 Maryland Avenue. where they have scheduled a jury trial for a trial that has already happened on May the 22nd. Well, I've got a question for you, dude. If this is really a uh, double jeopardy issue, why haven't you brought it up with anybody like your lawyer? I mean, you did just say that your lawyer is filing an appeal, which reminds me, you are supposed to be a sovereign citizen, right? Then why aren't you going pro se at that? But but whatever. Let me get back to the lawyer thing. I mean, you just said he's filing an appeal. But, but you did not mention if the lawyer is trying to correct this little issue of it being a double jeopardy case if it was then your lawyer should be able to take care of that for you and get it straightened out 
But strangely, you're not mentioning that. You just mentioned the appeal. I, I wonder if it could be because you're lying. Oh, wait, no, no. Sovereign citizens and frauditors don't lie. I mean, that's impossible. Let's walk around and see what, look at how he run when he see the camera. Oh yeah, look how fast he's running. I mean, he saw the camera several minutes ago and he just now decided to run. He's either got a slow reaction time or he just didn't really give a damn and he ended up having some other place to go because he is on duty right now. So yeah, that's probably it. Terrorist in action here. A terrorist corporation where they make up their own little rules and laws. Now we've already been to trial. The judge already sentenced me under the Fifth Amendment of the Supreme Law. You can't retry a person for the same crime all over again but they're about to because they're trying to save face dude what you're saying makes absolutely no sense whatsoever if they were actually trying to save face and they realized that they were doing a double jeopardy then they would most likely stop and issue you an apology or something like that or it's more likely that you don't know how anything works because you are a sovereign citizen and you have gotten pulled over and arrested a number of times. I'm willing to bet that you have an extreme case of the Dunning-Kruger effect, which in your case is pretty much incurable at this point in your life. Because I requested a jury trial the first time and they refused denied me so their immunity went out the door when they denied me the immunity so their immunity went out the door when they denied you immunity so how does this work anyway because what you just said is total word salad good morning how you doing all right all right As you see. Problem solving court, y'all. <laughs> <sighs> Problem solving court. Mm, mm, mm. But again. The state attorney and these judges in this corporation do what they want to do because there's zero accountability. But to this time, there will be accountability because I will be taking them to Greenbelt in a very large lawsuit. You see, this is how you put a stop to this. When the taxpayers realize this money is coming out of their pockets, they'll start getting rid of these individuals who don't know the law. Uh, yeah, I'm willing to bet that these judges know the law uh, quite a bit more than you do, Sovtard, or Frauditor, whatever the hell you want to be called, because they've at least gone to law school for a significant portion of their life so they can earn the positions they're in right now, dumbass. I mean, some people actually do study unlike you. They've been being so corrupt so long that they do what they want to do that they think what they're doing is the law. All right, that's the district court of this corrupt terrorist compound. You see, they're leasing that out on the backs of the citizens of Montgomery County. They don't have this much crime in Montgomery County. They really don't. They manufacture crime. Like uh, calling a police officer a bitch. First Amendment gives me that right.
Well, well, dude, uh, have you got a citation to that claim you made about, uh, them manufacturing crime in Montgomery County? Because that would be a total anomaly right there. I mean, crime happens all over the place. And your little explanation of calling a police officer a bitch when, well, I'm sure it was much more than that that caused you to get arrested. I mean, I've seen a lot of your videos. You uh, get trespassed so much that you might as well be uh, nominated for one of the frauditors who gets the most trespasses in any given year. I mean, it's, it's ridiculous, dude. To call him a bitch. You cannot take a constitutional right and make it a crime. But in this terrorist compound, in this corporation, they have. So we're going to be a special guest here today and allow them to do their thing. Oh, so you're going to allow them to do their job, huh? So this double jeopardy thing is, doesn't really matter because you're going to allow them to do their job like that, huh? So if you really believe that this was double jeopardy and you really believed that you could disallow this to happen, then why are you going to court to begin with and uh, go playing it their way? Because if you truly believed in what you were saying, you would walk away and flip the middle finger at them. But I guess you don't really believe what you're saying, or you're just a complete imbecile. Either way, it doesn't make you look any better. Because we will be in Greenville behind this as the first trial on May the 22nd the judge gave me 60 days suspended that and then gave me two years supervised probation two years supervised probation y'all and for my first amendment right freedom of speech now I'm here filing, well, my attorney filed an appeal, and somehow we ended up now in a jury trial. So, and the funny thing about this jury trial is we're going right before a judge, well, arbitrator, because I don't call him a judge, who we have notify him in another lawsuit that he's a defendant. So we have a conflict of interest as Montgomery County is a defendant in a lawsuit in Greenbelt. We have violation of my Fifth Amendment right, double jeopardy, and I don't understand how you people in Montgomery County keep allowing these people to be sitting on y'all benches who don't know the law. Uh, the time is 7-11. They open up at 8.30. So you guys stand by. Wow, just wow. Uh, yeah, it never ceases to amaze me how stupid NOJ News 1 is. Does he not have any comprehension of uh, civics whatsoever? Does he not understand that even local governments can create laws governing their own jurisdiction? I mean, good freaking grief, dude. And you know what? I really doubt that he's... Uh, getting anything and having to do with double jeopardy because I'm sure if he would uh, talk to his lawyer, I'm sure the lawyer would be able to get that kind of thing fixed if it was actually happening. But he never mentioned once that the uh, 
double jeopardy thing was ever mentioned to his lawyer. So I wonder if it's actually uh, occurring or is it just part of his delusional fantasy world? Because, you know, this is the same guy that believed that uh, food trucks were nothing but one giant conspiracy, one giant government conspiracy, excuse me. And, well, this is what we're dealing with right here. This kind of stupidity. So at any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one.